So we're here. I have who I cut called the most improved horse definitely this year at the stable. Now, these horses were all broke later in the fall. Most of them have been here two, three weeks. This guy wasn't. This guy was bought. No, let buy this guy. I bought this guy from an Ohio sale earlier on in the year. And um, Jailhouse Master has just been an absolute treat the last two weeks. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you the truth. When we broke this colt and I went with him a couple of times, I said, oh my God, I thought we were in for a little trouble. Uh, he was making breaks, he was interfering, he was out of gear, he had a bad attitude. I just, I was skeptical, I was optimistic and hopeful, uh, but I was, I was concerned, I was concerned. And then we ch made some shoeing changes on him, we made some equipment changes on him, and um, lo and behold, found a horse. And my God, he's a beautiful horse. Great attitude, squealing, this horse squealing coming on the track, he's been broke for six weeks. And he's still playing when he's coming on the track. He likes his work. So Jailhouse Master, I'm going to train him here in a minute. Now you might be wondering who's the guy in behind us. No one knows who that guy is. That horse's name is Hometown Boys. Some people might know who he is. This guy right here, that's a full brother to Cruising in Style. I was on my way to pick up a little surprise for everybody for the open house. And I was going to keep it real quiet. And then I got a phone call from the breeder of Cruising in Style, Terry DeVos, and he said, I still have his full brother. Uh, if you're interested, the reason I didn't put him in the sale is because I wanted to keep a piece of him. If you're interested, he's for sale. So I sent an email out to the Cruising in Style group first to tell them that this horse was for sale, and he's mostly sold out now. This is a 100% full brother to the horse we raced in New York, Cruising in Style. Now, Cruising in Style is only two flaws in the world. Or was he was a little bit skinny, he'd eat good, but he wouldn't put weight on, and he was hot. He was a runaway his whole life. This guy, he's already fat and lazy. <laughs> so that's good. He trots like cruising in style, although he's not as dark as cruising in style. He trots just like him. And the biggest concerns I always had with cruising in style, certainly don't have with this guy. He's already quiet and he's already put a lot of weight on. So the hometown boys is is the brother the full brother to cruising in style now cruising in style was muscle mass but that's back when muscle mass was standing in new york he's standing in ontario now that's an ontario break so we have my boy jailhouse master and we have the new boy hometown boys he's here so uh he was being broke and jogging and training up at the amish so i don't know what he's ready to do I'm going to go a mile and 50 and we'll see if Mario can follow me. You want to follow me? No? Oh, Mario doesn't want to follow me. That's all right. Don't worry about it. Come on, let's see if he can go. He's never done any training this horse, just jogging. There you go. Just get him on the outside and keep moving. Come on, big boy. Oh, <laughs> Easy. <laughs> easy, 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 easy. Yeah, he's already sweating. Just take him in. Yep, we can put an open on him. Oh, they had an open on him. Yeah, just take him in. He's sweating. I don't want to get him sick for the open house. Okay, come on, Jailhouse. Easy. That's my boy. Good boy. Easy. Oh, 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 don't do that. We'll go around once and I'll thaw you out. We'll go. Easy, 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 easy. Easy. Hey. You're all right. You're all right. Hey. Jailhouse. That's a good boy. Take it easy. You're all right. All right. Now we'll start in a minute. You ready? Come on, pick up speed. You're all right. You're all right. Good boy. Good boy. Ah, 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 ah. That's my boy. Wait. That's 
Damn, good boy. You're going a mile here, Buck. Come on, big guy. That's my boy. That's a good boy. Good boy. Keep going. This guy's been a little timid still. The little tender in the corners, little tender coming out of the corners. So he's still touching himself a little bit. Not bad though. Very smart though. Hey, hey, hey. That's a boy. That's a boy. Right here is where he's gonna put a step in. That's a boy. I love horses that can see stuff coming up in there. He's a little proactive with his gait, as I would say. Coming out of the turns, he's got to switch his leads. And that left hind, he's kind of passing, kind of line-gated on that left hind, which means his left hind is, is on par right at his left front. A lot of good trotters, a lot of, a lot of trotters for the most part, they'll pass the passing-gated gates where their left front will pass on the inside of their left hind. This guy, as he gets stronger, he'll creep that left hind out. But for now, he's got to find a way to deal with it right the way it is, because if you see how high his butt, how high his butt is, He's got a lot of growing to do and he's going through a growth spurt right now. So it's probably a little frustrating for him to do what he's doing right now. But he's still doing it. Come on! That's my boy. I need a Murphy blind on the outside of you, big guy. There's a half and 25 right there. So we're going to go a mile and probably 48 or 49 with this guy today. If he stays at it and behaves, which it looks like he's going to. Most trotters, the further you go, they usually settle down and settle into a nice, better gait. Some of them get a little anxious. Come on. Come on. Right out of the turn. Exactly where I said he'd make that break. You're all right. You're all right. No. Hey. Hey. There you go. Just not ready for that move yet coming out of the last turn. Come on, bud. We're still gonna end up going mile probably 54, 55, which is fine. We'll work on that left hind. I'll make a slight little shoeing change on this guy behind. Now you see he runs in a little bit. Running in a little bit. We'll put a head pole on the inside of him. Yet I'll slide a little Murphy blind on the outside of him just to keep him on the right line a little bit, keep him moving forward, but off that left line because when he's off that line, he's on that left line, you're going to see him creep out right here coming out of the turns and that's where he's more apt to make a little break and touch himself down on that pasture. It looks like he's down low close to that ankle. We got a little bit of weight on him up front. He'll trot so much better too when we got this weight off him. I'll tell you a horse that trots exactly like this and trotted like this. There's a mile and 54, exactly what I said. There's a horse we had last year trots exactly like this. The way he moves, the way you gotta watch him coming into the turns and coming out of the turns. His name was Oso oh Pine. He ended up with hobbles on, but man oh man, he ended up being a good horse for us. And that's exactly, and if you think I'm bullshitting you, go back and look at his videos back in January, back in December. Go look at the videos of that colt and you'll see what I'm talking about. He, uh, he also had issues straightening up into the straightaways and coming into the turns for the exact same reason, really with the exact same gait that this guy did. Good boy. Good boy. 